I want to leave a few nuggets with you now. Only two nuggets, I think, just to start with. To win the war, to win the war, you have to be in the battle. You cannot win this, this war without battling. You have to be, unfortunately, in the battle. And to reach the bottom of the ladder, you have to break through the crowd. So yes, life will always be a fight and it will always be war. It will be always be a battle between light and darkness because that makes you strong. It's so good. It is so good to be under pressure sometimes. It's not, it's not comfortable. And nobody is happy when they are under pressure. But that's where you grow. And that's where you experience the power of the Lord. And how He will pick you up and give you strength and to win this war through all the battles that you have to go through. Jesus was always amongst the crowd. And there were always a crowd surrounding him and there was always a crowd waiting for him when he arrived. And on this special day, a woman was amongst the crowd. A woman with an issue. The reason why she was amongst the crowd that day, it wasn't because she was curious to find out what this man can do, because she heard so much of him. She heard how he turned the water into wine. She heard about all the signs and miracles and wonders that was flowing through this man. And this man from Galilee was very, very special. Although she was excited to meet him, and might be yes curious to see what he can do, what he can do, she was excited because she knew he was the one and only person who could help her on that day to get rid of this issue. An issue of blood. The issue of flowing of blood through her body for 12 years. 12 is a very good sign. It's a good, very good number. Meaning 12 after 12 months, we step into our new season, the new year. And it was 12 years that she's been battling with this thing, this issue. And she knew it was the end of a season, the season of battling. But she has to go through the pressure to get that. She has to pay the price, the final price, not with, not with money. Be she didn't have any money by that time, no money. She spent all her money on doctors and medication. But today she knew she's going to pay the price whatever. Today she will dare to touch him. But the, the most important problem on that day was is to get through the crowd. So many people want to climb the ladder. So many people in the past ask me if they can climb with me the ladder. I said yes. You are so welcome. But you have to get through the crowd to get at the bottom of the ladder. Because, because there's many, many things, many people even, that will try to block you. But you have to get through this. You have to get through yourself and over yourself and step over yourself to get at the bottom of the ladder. And so that woman had many issues. Yes, she was, she was, she was a sick woman. She was almost dying and she realized she couldn't wait longer because she will die. And so many times we carry the issues of life. And the longer we carry the issue, it becomes a lifestyle. And we, we just slip into that comfort zone with this issue. Not realizing that this issue will cause you to a, sp a spiritual death. Will bring a premature death upon your life. And I'm talking spiritually this morning. Because we are carrying, carrying a spiritual sickness in the body. In our spiritual lives. But today the Lord says, break through the crowd my son. Break through the crowd my daughter. And dare to touch me. Today I want to, I want to test your faith. I want to see if you are strong enough to get through this, to get through the crowd. You see, 
If I dare you today to do something, if I dare you today to touch Jesus, if I dare you today to climb a mountain, if I dare you, and you say yes, you must know that you will face some challenges because it will not be easy to get to reach the top of the mountain. And it will not be easy to go so far to stretch out your hand and your finger and touch the, the fringe of his robe. Because there are people, there are circumstances who's going to keep you from what you desire to receive today. And you must step over it. You must step over it. You know what this woman, she, yes, she faced challenges because she was unclean according to the law. She was not allowed to be amongst this crowd on that day because she was unclean according to the law. But in that day, the law, the law was not a factor. The law was nothing. She was desperate and she wanted to touch the master. This man from Galilee, she wanted to touch him because she knew that she knew that she knew this is a last chance. This is a last opportunity to get rid of this thing that she's carrying through, 12, through the past 12 years. And she had to reach out to him. She had to push through the crowd. And you and I have to push through the crowd, through the circumstances to come close, to get close to Jesus. Because there are so many things keeping you away from your, from your prayer life. There are so many things to, keeping you away from the master this morning. Because you feel not worthy. You do not feel worthy. You feel unworthy because of the things that happened in the past. But the Lord says forget about the past. Keep it behind you. Close the door behind you. Let your new season, your new year, start today by reaching out to Him, by daring to touch the fringe of His robe. He wants to touch you, but He's waiting for you today to take the first step and to touch Him. You see, a challenge, that word dare, the meaning of dare is actually a challenge. No matter what the circumstances were, according to the law, she was unclean. That was a challenge. She dared to touch him. She was so close, but still had to push through the crowd. That was a challenge. The crowd was, was between her and the Lord. It's a challenge, meaning that if you dare to do something, you have to be serious enough to do it. You have to be desperate. You have to be desperate to reach out to Him so that you can get rid of this blockage in your life. You have to be serious enough just to do it, man. Just to do it. You have to be brave enough. No matter your circum no, what your circumstances might be this morning, no matter where you are, what you have done, no matter what, might, no matter whether you are unclean or not, you have to push forward. You have to get the crowd behind you. And you have to stretch out your hand. Use your finger. Stretch out to him and touch him. You have to be courageous enough. And you have to get enough boldness to do that. Knowing that no other person today can help you. You have to get rid of it. You have tried everything in life. And nothing worked for you. You have tried so many, so many ideas. You have tried so many plans. Nothing worked. 
Because nothing can work for you unless Jesus do it. Jesus is the one who can do it for you. Jesus is the one who can create today a miracle for you. Meaning to touch him, break through the crowd, break through this spirit of unbelief and fear and self-doubt. Your greatest enemy is yourself. Because you don't believe in yourself anymore. The flesh will always become the barrier between you and your breakthrough. The enemy will always try to stop you, yes? That is the crowd. Telling you that it is impossible to reach the fringe, the fringe of his robe. Telling you it's impossible to stand up again. These are lyrics you know, of the old, old song of many, many years ago. Touching Jesus. That's all that matters. Then your life will never be the same again. Jesus said to her in Luke 8, in the Message Bible, Daughter, you took a risk. You took a risk trusting me. And now you're healed and whole. Live well. And live blessed. You took a risk. Although you were unclean. Although you're not welcome amongst them. Although though the law says no, 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 stay away. You are unclean. You took the risk today. You took the risk by touching him. By pressing through the crowd and pushing through the crowd. Philippians 3 verse 13 and 14. You must go and read it. I'm just going to give you just a, a few words. But one thing I do. Forgetting what lies behind. And reaching forward that lies ahead. Walk over the challenges today, my friend, and the obstacles, and press forward, push forward. Today I pray that Father will clear your vision, your blurred vision, so that you can see better. That you will not see the things standing behind you. That you, not, you will not see the things standing between you and Jesus. But that you will have a clear vision of the true one. The pure one that Father created in your mother's womb. Did I pray that Father will clear your vision? Keep on pushing through the crowd, my friend. You're almost there. You are almost there. Don't give up now. I know you're on, on, the, on, on, the, on the brink of your miracle. Although you feel like giving up. I pray that Father clear your vision that you will not give up. But that you will push forward. Push forward. Listen to this. When the law telling her that she's unclean and tried to stop her. God's love, grace and mercy opened the door for her. When the world says the world, the world will always be there. When the world says, don't do it, don't touch him, it's a risk. The Spirit of the Lord says, yes, Keep on pushing forward and touch me. And when the doctor's report tries to stop you, push through it, my friend. And when the debt collector is standing at your fr front door, walk over him. God has already made a way for you. Don't let the bad news reporters stop you today. No matter what the report is, 
no matter what the words of people might be over your life today, it will not work. It will have no effect upon you. It's too late to stop you now. Keep on pressing. Keep on pushing. Keep on stretching forward. Just stretch your hand. Just stretch your hand. Touch him. Jesus is waiting. This is God's word for you today.